Alright, so now we're going to do a box pulling work problem. So here's the problem. Let's say George pulls a 5.5 kilogram box with a force of 230 newtons on a rope that is 35 degrees above the horizontal. If the box moves 53.7 meters, how much work does George do? Right, so with these um, problems, the first thing I recommend you do is you draw out a diagram, right? It'll help us to visualize everything. So we've got this box here, and then we have George, he's pulling it, but he's not pulling it uh, directly horizontally, he's pulling it at an angle. So we imagine something like this, where George is up here, we'll just redraw him, where this is 35 degrees. Uh, he's pulling on it with a force of 230 newtons, so that's what our hypotenuse will be. So he's pulling on it like this. And then um, this is 5.5 kilograms. And this box is moving 53.7 meters. Alright? So we know the equation for work. It's work equals force times distance, and while it may seem as if you have all the elements necessary to solve for work here, um, I would say that you need to solve for your force, because this force here is the hypotenuse. It's if this box was moving both horizontally and vertically, but in this problem, the box is only moving horizontally. So what we want is we only want the horizontal component of this force. So we can use a triangle and cosine to figure out what our uh, horizontal component is, right? So we have this triangle, 35 degrees, 230. And if we're trying to solve for our x here, we know that cosine of theta equals adjacent x over hypotenuse, 230n. And we can replace our theta with 35. All right? And then we multiply that across. 230 times cosine of 35 equals x. And then if we pull it in, Cosine, we see that the horizontal component is 188.405 newtons, right? So this becomes our force, right? So, erase the stuff up here. So now we can plug stuff in to our work equation, right? So, work equals force times distance, which in this case is 188.405 times distance, 53.7 meters, which equals 53.7, which equals 1011, 10,117.3. So that is our final answer, and if we want to give proper uh, units, we'd either say it's in joules or newtons times meters, right? So that's basically how you solve a work problem like this, and you'll notice that we didn't use this 5.53 kilograms, and um, you just have to be wary of the information they give you, because sometimes you don't have to use it. You might feel pressured like you do have to use it, but you don't. So that's how you solve a box pulling work problem. Ooh, it's the end screen. Click on one of these links to be directed to that playlist. And don't forget to subscribe!